You are by far the most excruciating, difficult, stubbornly obnoxious woman I've ever met in my entire life. I fucking love you. Oh, he's so sensitive. He's romantic. Very sweet, right? I noticed that when you were doing some of the monologues, you would break out in a physical action. Talk about that. Um, well, with some of the monologues, with the subject he's tackling, what he's talking about, you know, and where he was at that point of the story, it was natural to do that. So when we find Malcolm first in the, in, in the beginning of the movie, he's in this spirited celebratory mode. Oh. <laughs> I love the way you see the world, Marie. Well, you know, he's relieved, he's excited, he's drunk. You know, um, uh, uh, from, from joy and love of what happened, how his film was received. And um, what he's talking about is in the flow of that celebration. He's riding the wave of good feeling. And um, I think that's what you experienced that. Then we see him later moving around. He's feeling frustrations. He's reacted to what Maria has done. So he has to go outside and have a full breakdown because um, I think he thinks it's healthy. Well, what is it, Marie? What do you want? Really? Do you want to go there? Yes. Okay. One of the things that made me think about, though, is when one attends a premiere, you get really heightened up and you deliver that on screen. How do you react after premiere? Oh, uh, well, it depends on how the premiere went. Um, in Cannes, it was that same energy you see Malcolm with. Maybe even, I might have been even more excited and expressive in real life because um, they, they loved it in Canada. We were partying hard in, in, in France. It was great. Uh, I remember the premiere in Sundance 2018 from a movie I did, Monsters and Men, and the, the ovation was great. And just, that's where I met Sam and Ashley, our director and producer. And they, I just remember them saying how much they loved the film. I, but I felt so relieved. And I think that's what you see Malcolm. He's so relieved because it takes so much to make a film. Spike told me that too. I mean, it's so hard, damn near impossible to make a good film, even if, if, even if it's a bad one. It's just hard to do. About 10 plus years of experience he put into this script, Imani, in the film. And for it to go well like that, um, it's a huge relief, I'm telling you. So um, I was able to draw some of those experiences. I love the way you see the world, Marie. This is uh, about love, but it's also about conflict. And often he doesn't know that she's mad at him. You're angry. No. How good are you at recognizing when someone's mad? And do you go there? Or uh, how, do, how do you argue? Okay, I, I think Malcolm is way more narcissistic than I am. I, I'm always sensitive to if somebody is upset. I don't like when people are upset. I, I always want to get to the, I want to get to the root of it. Well, what's the issue? What can I do? What, how can I help? What can I adjust? That's me personally. Marie. 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 Give me your sorrow. I don't have or agree with the tactics Malcolm has. Uh, when it comes to conflict. I do believe though that uh, discussions need to be, must be had to sustain an honest and true relationship. You have to be able to talk. If there's not a way of doing it, there's a way of dialogue that has to be um, um, executed, but I don't think Malcolm's way is, is healthy. Um, but I do agree with both of them in that they do listen to each other and they do tell each other the truth. I agree with that. You can't imagine the reason I'm with you is because I love you. At the same time, I wish I could also express to a partner, to my partner, what he expressed when he come, re expresses when he comes back and tells her why he loves her. I wish I had the words like that to, to, to deliver, to tell somebody how, why I love someone. Carry you. I will carry you. Are we going to see you back on Ballers? And what was it like <laughs> for you to do finally a movie like Tenant? and then for it not to be seen in movies. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, well, no, Ballers is, is Ricky Jarrett is, no, that is, it is over. That is over, there's no coming back. I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, but feel free to rewatch it if you like. Um, but Tenet, I mean, it was one of those moments, there's a couple of them I've had in my life where I actually see my life changing. 
Like it does like a moment to where I can mark it down and say my life is different. And that moment on Tenet was when I got to, ironically enough, it was my last day of shooting uh, Ballers. It was my last season. It was the last everything. My last day. Uh, the Rock gives me a beautiful speech. It almost felt like they were sending me to university. They're sending me to Christopher Nolan University. You've graduated high school. And um, and I, it was my first day of, it was a camera test with Hoyta Van Oytema, our VP, and Christopher Nolan. And it was that moment. It was being in a lot of Warner Brothers, like, oh my God, my life has changed. Here he is, a hero of mine. Christopher Nolan was one of the greatest directors of all time. I'm here in this in this stage, what is it, stage 12? I forget what stage we were on. At the camera test in the movie I'm, I'm starring in. Life is different. So that was that moment I'll never forget. And as we wrap, Zendaya meets you. And I know you've said that she taught you stuff. What mm-hmm. did she teach you? And how did you create that intimacy? Tell me where it hurts. I will carry you. She taught me about it, which I knew already, but she gave me more depth to the greatness of Beyonce. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We we bonded over music. She taught me um, just about, you know, like certain business moves too, about the industry. You know, and, you know, like she, how she, you know, reads contracts and she's involved in every aspect of her career. And I'm like, oh, I got to get my my stuff together. Like I really need to be on because she is on it. Knows where every T's crossed, every I's dotted. And uh, amongst other things, it was just great to hear that from such an experienced person. Wonderful. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hold on to me for dear life.